Hello, welcome back. This is Jose Torres. Today we are going to see how we can run phone app applications in our devices. If you are using Android or Windows, you are lucky. It is going to be pretty easy for you. If you are using iPhone, I'm sorry, but you are going to need a developer account to achieve that. So let's start. Let's go to build.fungapp.com. That is the site where we are able to create our applications in an easy way by using Fungapp. With a free account, you are able to have a private project and all the other projects you want to create are going to be public projects. So if you want to have more private projects by using this application or this website, so you need to buy a license to achieve that. But don't worry, one, one single project is going to be more than enough to do that. The first thing we, we need to do is go to our to-do list. By the way, to-do list is the last project we created in case you haven't followed me with that. And compress it. Once you have a zip file with this, we are going to, to click the update code. We are going to, se to select the choose file option and basically just take your zip file and upload it. In my case, I had already created my Hello World project on here, but basically it is my only private project. So I am replacing the code with the to-do list. You can see here that uh, the iOS basically is giving me an error, which is fine because I, I don't have my credentials on here. Y you can see that Windows is building. It is not done just right now. And Android is also building. OK, terrific. It is completed. So we, are, we have ready our Windows and Android application. The only thing you need to do is just uh, scan this QR code. So you are going to be able to install the application in your phone. You also can download the individual packages from every platform and install it in your device. If you want to run it, without creating package on installing it, we also can do, do, can do that. So I'm going to move to my phone so we can see what is the process to achieve that without using this website. So here we are in my phone. Uh, this is not a emulator. This is the video captured directly from my phone. So basically, the first thing we need to do is to download this application, the phone app. So you can uh, download it from the Apple Store. Uh, the second thing you need to do is to uh, start your local uh, web browser. Remember, we have been using the HTTP server to run our application in the Ripple emulator until today. So we are uh, still using it to load it through this phone app application. So open it. We need to provide the application with our machine IP address and port. There is an important difference between doing this through the this phone app application and accessing it just from the browser. For our example, it is really not a difference. It is going to be the same result. But later, when we create more complex applications where we need to access the phone agenda, the phone calendar, the camera, the compass, accelerometer, and many other hardware characteristics, 
so we we we, we need this application to run or uh, to run our program so tap the connect button and you can see that your application is now running and you can see it uh, in the same way that your application is going to be displayed when you create your own application to inst and install it in the phone so those are the two ways uh, we are going to see today on how to run phone app applications in our devices uh, next time we are going to check how to create the xcode project and the android project from the phone app console so remember to subscribe and visit us later thank you